just making a little. This is my. Uh, I'm just running nothing but engines. Or locomotives, let's say. This is end gauges, as you can see. I got my George Bush 4141 in front. Big old. That's what they use to haul them to the uh, museum. It's a big, badass Union Pacific. But it's got the uh, Air Force One colors. Until Trump changes it. <laughs> He might, he might not. I think he's just messing with people. Then I got a Northwestern, Western Pacific, just sitting in there. I've got other ones here. I got a whole bunch of engines here, or locomotives here. But I'm running these. This guy's out front. He's not the most. He's not the fastest either. That's the weirdest thing. That thing is a beast. It'll lap everything. And then I have four. Uh, so they're A, B, A, B, B, A. Santa Fe's. Uh, for the uh, Santa Fe. Uh, But the uh, Super Chief, where they pulled these. That's just the uh, rear caboose car. It's got a light on it, so it's no big thing. I put that on that to slow down these three because they were going so fast. But then this thing started flying faster than these. And then I figured, well, I'll put on the George Bush one because that's a new big one and it should be faster than them all but it is not witness i just got them all hooked up to my new to this to the uh tech 2 so there we go let's go pulling away i don't know you don't see it let's get up oh. let's back out you can see, here they come. It's gonna be coming under the uh, thing here. Hopefully everything's all right. See, if one slows down, it starts to push. It just messes everything up. But here comes George. He's doing all right. And he has one behind him. And the floor. And they make loose with the light. And it's cruising. That is a lot of weight right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six motors. They're all motors. They're all running. It's a lot of power. I could pull a lot of cars if I wanted, but I don't. I just like watching it. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. I love that George Bush one. That looks so good. It runs good, and it runs better than the, uh, the, uh, better one I got. You see, this is the yard. It should be coming up. See, I got grades. It comes up here, hits the top of the grade, goes down into the tunnel. Through that tunnel, around. Into another tunnel, out, into two more tunnels, going up the grade, out, by some rocks, around, and here's the, uh, the yard. Isn't that fishing, man? Look at how much money I've dumped into this. I mean, right here is just, it's just, it's thousands of dollars. You think all those guitars I got? I've gone insane with these trains, but just look at how cool they look, man. And they're all running nice, and there's no derailments. What's happened? And on this big, 
outer loop that I have everything running on. Of course, I can back it up and you do the whole yard. It's kind of crunch because the yard is kind of in a circle, but. It, it start you let it get going and it just starts cruising. Okay, I'm gonna slow her down when it comes by. Now with this tech too, I can control it different ways. I can control different engines. I can. I've got two different here. This one is for the top one here. I think it's hooked up. It's really noisy though. But yeah. We got one on the top. That's just one lonely little just to make sure everything's running on that. It cruises around wherever it is. I don't know where it is. It'll be cruising. Whatever went on there. Are you kidding me? It got stuck. Let's back it up. Really? How could that get stuck? Anyways, the other one's running perfect as usual. But it's all basically, it started with this little foam. I think I only run with an old little. I got my mining thing and all that, so the trees. So that's cool. And a lake. Eagle Lake actually had two lakes. No worries in there. Some of those are not going to work. You see, I got all this stuff here. And then I got this here. I'm still going to build a, uh, a mining thing. Because I have a mountain up there that I'm going to put here for a mine. But here we go. Let's slow her down. Slow down, George. Yeah, beautiful thing. Me too forward. There we go. And doofus up there going backwards. Did you see the hole? This layout. Was a uh, display in Walmart in the eighties or seventies, seventies or eighties. And uh, they got it running. I like it. Looks cool. Reminds me of the old like Tyco and Atlas trains. In fact, I think this was an Atlas display. But there you go, sir. Started with this, and then I decided, you yeah, know, I should build a big one around it so I can run these bigger. Because I can't, these will not run on that. Only these little guys. And these little guys, I wanted to get a big thing going, so I needed about six feet. A little over six feet by three and a half. Foot layout. You see this guy's this tripping. I think I'm gonna stop him. Stop, buddy. Ooh. Why don't you go forward now and stop by the station? This transformer is not as smooth as the other one. The other one is much more lifelike. This one, Tech 2. I'd like to get another one. So there you go. There's my trains. 
And there's the one sitting by, waiting to be put to use. I've had them all running, and it's just a nightmare. <laughs> Seems like they always want to get derailed or some bull crap, but I've got the whole 14 car setup of uh, the El Capitan Santa Fe thing, and then I got the that northern uh, northwestern or northern western Pacific pulls a Zephyr, and I got the Zephyr cars up here, and then I got some older ones. As you can see up there somewhere, the yellow one with the. So, I've got quite a collection going now. And this is nothing. This is not everything. It's a lot of stuff is packed away, but as you can see right there, I mean, I'm just using the boxes I get to. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. This. The way this is set up, I had a little table. I put a cardboard, a cardboard box, laid it out there, sat that on there, and then I kept putting cardboard boxes out and taping it, and then longer and bigger, and now I've got this gigantic. But now I can't, I have no room in the room. I can't walk. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> this is it. Under this is like printers, uh, you know, DVD burners, a whole collection of DVDs and CDs. I can't get to them because I built a train track on top of it. I mean, a train set. So... I'm infatuated with this now, so I don't really care about anything else. And, you know, this is just my... my, uh... part-time room, so... I'll be leaving next week. There you go. Just that I'd show you, uh... some of the, uh... some of my best-performing, uh, engines. Pulling one car. There you go. Tomorrow you'll see my Ace Freely uh, Gibson Les Paul with uh, lighting. Blue glowing pickup. You'll see. And I'll tell you a story. But you don't care because this is a train thing.